I started off doing a normal salary job and I didn't really think beyond how that would change with children but obviously this has made me rethink. So the GP retention scheme keeps people in practice who might otherwise leave. You can work for up to four sessions per week of core general practice but there's a lot of flexibility as to how you arrange those sessions. So for me I do do four sessions a week but it's spread across three days which means I can be available at the beginning and end of the day for childcare. So the scheme is there for people who might otherwise leave general practice, whether that's through um, mid-career issues like childcare responsibilities or I think also towards the end of um, practice where people might be looking to retire. So the advantages for me largely stem from the point where I moved to Derby where I was in the middle of a 12-month period of maternity leave and so looking to locum in a completely new area seemed very daunting. Equally a salaried um, post with uh, two children under three at the time also seemed like it wasn't realistic. So it's meant that I could ease my way into a new area, keep practicing and kind of build on the um, other roles because the flexibility does allow you to do more as time goes on um, without having to either either stop or sacrifice work-life balance. There are several components within the scheme. One is um, time for CPD, which is really useful when you're kind of trying to juggle work-life balance and making sure that there is some protected time to do that. There's also provision for educational supervision, so regular contact with a, with a mentor or supervisor for, for keeping in touch with the practice when you're working part-time. There is a financial bonus, so some of my salary is paid um, through the scheme. So in effect, they pay part of the scheme pays part of my salary, and the practice pay another part. And I suppose they are keeping a spectrum of people practicing, which means that the workforce is more varied, which is good for patients. I receive my salary, which is. Co um, the combination of the components from the practice and the scheme, but also there is an additional professional expenses supplement, which is based on how many sessions per week that um, you work. That's there to cover things like indemnity fees, um, study leave and so on, and you receive it annually. It's subject to tax and national insurance, but not pensionable. And it's really useful just to support those other professional activities that um, need to be covered as part of being a GP. So the only restriction is on working no more than four sessions within core general practice. Outside of that, you can do almost anything else. So, for instance, as I come in towards the end of the scheme, I'm starting to look at other options. So I started to work for the out-of-hours service. You could be combining the retainer scheme with lots of other um, both medical and non-medical activities that are, um, as long as they're not core, core general practice, then there's no restriction.